if you would have told me that there is this thing in Germany called uh, German slap dancing, um, which is like a some kind of like uh, combat or fighting dance or something like that, I wouldn't have believed you. But there's video proof here, and um, I guess there is some lore behind this. I hopped in Discord, and one of you guys shared a link with me today. Um, or actually a few days ago, um, kind of giving some context behind this. So the individual says uh, he's training for a dance. He has to perform uh, the next day with his friends. Uh, we named one part where you walk forward with moving the hip uh, lady walks, right? He said, but he's terrible with his hips. Um, uh, when searching YouTube for the lady walk dance, he came across really weird videos, and one of them was this: the uh, <laughs> German slap dance. <laughs> it's a uh, Schuhplatte dance, which is also telling a story. And he thought it'd be a pretty uh, good idea to to review this, and that's what we're going to be doing today. And if anybody has any, um, I guess, information on this, actually, what we're probably going to do before we get into the video is kind of dive into what this is because I don't know what German slap dancing is. I'm pretty sure most people watching this probably don't know what that is either. So what we're going to do is go to this live scene right here. Um, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. And let me go ahead and change my display capture to the main screen. Bam. All right. And then we're going to look this up. So uh, German slap dancing. Um, boom. So this is the video actually right here that we're going to be checking out later. But what is German slap dance called? Schuhplatte. Schuhplatte is, is the traditional style of folk dance popular in the regions of Bavaria and Tyrol, uh, southern Germany, Austria, and the German-speaking regions of northern Italy. In this dance, the performers stomp, clap, and strike the soles of their shoes, thighs, and knees with their hands held flat. Um, here's a picture of it right here. Uh, this is very interesting. I want to dive more into it as after we watch the video. Uh, this is the video right here. So let me turn the volume down a little bit. So we got, um, boom, this right here. The fighting dance. So look. <laughs> he like kicks the bottom of his leg and then uh, I guess decides to dance with this lady right here. Look. It's almost like they're competing over uh, the, uh, the lady on the dance floor, you know? It's pretty, pretty wild. Look, he's like, oh, wait a minute, buddy. <laughs> My turn. Look, this is pretty crazy. This looks really cool, though. This looks really, really cool. I don't know what the what the history behind it is, so um, we're going to be looking at that really quick after we do this. And if anybody's seen this and stuff, it seems like a really cool tradition. Um, very uh, interesting. I guess I can see why it would be weird for some people to look at this and be like, whoa, what, what, what's going on here? But uh, I, I didn't understand like what was going on, where it where it, it originated from as far as the idea. Of course, it uh, we saw the regions that it originated from, but why, you know? Um, the more so the why this became a thing, I have no idea, but this looks pretty intense. Look, the, st the stumping right there, that's stumping. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> That's awesome! What the heck? It is a little funny, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like, dude just smacked him in the back of the head. Look. What? I think I've seen something like this in SpongeBob. I'm not sure if they referenced, if SpongeBob was referencing this, this dance right here, which would make sense, right? Um, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> That's why it's called Russian slap. Let me get my bad. That's why it's called German slap dancing. Uh, oh my gosh! Good gosh, dude! Good gosh! That's crazy, dude. You can hear that, bro. Do you hear the pops, my guy? Like. Good, good, oh, good googly moogly, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> they are not playing around, bro. I want to see what the what the description says. What does the description say? Let's see. Uh, oh. 
Okay. German slap happy dance fighting. Um, there's nothing wrong with this. In AU, we do Bavarian slap dancing, and I'm one of them. Two German Schuplade folk dancers and the safe campaign encourage people to protect themselves when they're out um, and about in the sun. This slap dancing in Munich, uh, Truvo video, search learning to slap dance at Health Pros in Munich means castle geography teacher doing some German slap dance. Da, 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 da. Oh, these are all tags. These are tags. Oh my God, these are tags. Boom. I love how the most traditional dancing is supposed to be beautiful and a, and a way to honor and mind. And most of the people on this page have a dance where you slap the shit <laughs> each other. I'm proud. Yo, dude, this is intense. This is intense. Let's, show, let's go look at it in the raw scene, man. Like, we got to look at it here, man. It'll only be right. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Go ahead and subscribe, by the way, if you haven't already. But look. <laughs> Did it eat? Yo, look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look. They, they, they slap their, 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 their laps, their legs, and then they start throwing smacks in the air. Look at this. Oh, no, nah. they, they, they kicked them out of the thing. They're like, all right. Who's next? Oh, he took it. He took his jacket off, man. Oh, it's serious. Oh, it's serious. He said, what's up? Oh, there's, it's a three way. Oh, there's a three way. Oh, okay. They gotta have heads of steel for something like this. Good googly moogly, what's the head? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this guy almost like he he like fate like you know just dropped out, man. He got popped in the back of the head. He's like, <laughs> this looks this looks like this is uh I don't know. I feel like somebody going to home with a knot. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> The show must go on. The show must go on. There's a fourth contender. There's a fourth contender. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, the way that they do it on beat and stuff, these look like some powerful slaps, I'm not gonna lie, oh my god, these look very, very powerful. <laughs> like, the, and their forearms are massive, good goodness, this is... Hey, that's, that's, okay. What the heck? Why did they do that? Go back. What? Did, what? Look. She dances the middle. Is that part of the dance where they like lift up her skirt or something? Oh my God, bro. She Yo, this is crazy, bro. What the heck? <laughs> Germany, what the hell? <laughs> What's going on? So this is uh, the slap dancing, right? The the slap dancing uh, shoe plata um, thing that we were talking about. Um, let's go back and look at the origins of this because whatever we read didn't make any sense. I know some of y'all got a headache with the the tags and stuff like that. So we're gonna go to, we're gonna look at the uh, okay, cool. So <clears throat> so shoot the shoe plot is a traditional style of folk dance popular in the regions of Bavaria and Tyrol. We read that earlier. Uh, there are more than 150 basic shoe plateaus as well as marches and acrobatic feats that are often inter with the basic dance and performance they they may be seen today in europe and in G the german uh, immigrant communities around the world um 
while the shoe platter is still largely performed by adults, it has become increasingly popular with the youngsters who love its colorful costumes and its bouncing, leaping, kicking, and choreographed horseplay. Oh, so yeah, the, the slaps are choreographed. Those are planned. Those are definitely planned. But man, they take that serious. I feel like some people leave with like, like bumps and stuff, man. Like, good gosh. So here's the history and the style. The shoe platter is thought to date from the Neolithic times around 3000 BC, but it is the first of record in, uh, well, but it is first of record in 1030 AD when a monk in the Turgenzi Abbey of Bavaria described a village dance containing leaps and hand gestures. Over the centuries, the form gradually evolved as farmers, hunters, and woodsmen practiced it in the isolated towns and villages of the Bavarian and Tyrolean Alps. Sometimes it was performed as a partner dance with couples doing a landler um, and then spitting up so girls would twirl in their colorful dirndls as the boys showed off their plat platen. Um, and other times it was just the boys on stage arranging in a circle, a square, or a line, plattling wildly for the audience. Uh, the two approaches are sometimes distinguished as the Schuhplatz uh and the Schuhplatz proper. Uh, but it is the boys' dance that is the core of both forms and is most often described. The immediate precursors of today's Schuhplatz were in the 18th century minu minuet, uh, quadrille and Francois or something like that, Francais. Uh, but unlike these courtly and highly stylized dances, the early platters of the common folk were free of rules. The young men improvised their leaps, stomps, and acrobatic figures as it stuck their fancy. Acrobat acrobatics were an important part of the dance, at least by the 1820s, when the boys began balancing on the shoulders of their partners and stamping their feet rhythmically on the ceiling. That's pretty interesting. Early shoe plotas were, uh, were often highlighted in the towns where they were invented or um, imitated the various professions of the performers, such as the Muradl, uh, Miller's Dance, and the Holzhaka, Woodcutter, the Gluckenplatter, Bell Dance, um, and the the Gluckenplattler. Um, the music was generally in three quarter time like the Landler and was performed on the zither or the guitar. And by the 1800s, the accordion or the concertina. In 1838, the Empress of Russia was honored with the Schuhplattler by the residents of the bath town uh, Vilbad Kreuz uh, and the aristocracy. And the, and the, Aristoc uh, arist aristocracy yeah and the aristocracy fascinated by the strange costumes and quaint pursuits of the common folk began taking an interest in dance uh many consider the real birth of the modern schuplattler however to be king maximilian ii of bavaria's excursion through the alps in 1858 when the locals performed the dance for him and he fell in love with it in 1886 the french traveler hughes craft wrote of the Schuhplattler. On Sundays and holidays, one sees couples dancing on music to larger uh, town squares everywhere, preferably the Landler, a leisurely waltz popular among boys and girls. The biggest attraction, however, even for the local farmers, is always the Schuhplattler. Platter. Oh my God, Schuhplattler. It begins with forming a circle. Then, while the girl is briefly separated from her partner and continues to follow waltz steps, the boy must perform a number of difficult movements to the beat of the music. He turns around on his axis, slaps his thighs and his legs, falls to his knees, jumps in the air and throws his hat as he lets out a joyful whoop. Those who master the dance are cheered with vigorous applause. By the late 19th century, traditional costume clubs, Trachtenvereine, were established throughout Bavaria and Tyrol, um, and soon these groups spread to German communities in America and elsewhere. Since the mission of, the, the, of these clubs was to preserve the age-old customs, lore, and dress of German Austrian Alps, uh, the Schubplatter became a central part of their programs. The Trachtenverheine were often strict and exacting about how the dance was to be, uh, be performed and how club members were to dress. Although the new Schubplatter uh, groups sprang up after the Second World War and were less tied to the older forms. So uh, long story short, this is a very traditional dance. 
that apparently has been around for a while. And if you guys have heard about this, please let me know your experience visualizing this is awesome. I mean, from what I see, it's it's pretty funny, man. It's funny. It's intense. It's pretty cool, but it's definitely funny, man. It looks like uh, adults horse playing around like, you know, um, you know, having a good time and stuff and kind of just messing around and everybody kind of enjoying. But those slaps look like they stung a little bit. Um, let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like on this video, try to get this video to 1000 likes. We're trying to set light goals for our videos and stuff now, cause we do that over here. Uh, but until the next time I see your beautiful faces again, take care. I love you guys. Peace.